more people are tapping into technology that makes them feel safer. Doorbell cameras like Ring or Google and Amazon devices that respond to you and keep an eye on you or your, I should say your kids or your pets while you're away. Yeah, but there are growing risks associated with those safety cameras, including hackers getting into them and watching your every move. You can do whatever you want right now. You can mess up your room. Terrifying video out of Tennessee. And places all over the U.S. showing hackers tapping into home security cameras. They like, kind of like a light skin. I don't know. What? It's really all devices um, that are considered Internet of Things. And what that means is it's not generally a computer or a laptop. Paul Tracy is a cybersecurity educator who says phishing attempts have increased by 300 percent in the last few weeks with the unrest in Ukraine. Your Google Voice devices, Alexa, security cameras. What can hackers do if they gain access to this? So what we've seen is FedEx gets dropped off. Hackers have gotten into a camera. They know that package is there and they're able to determine you're not going to come home. You don't come home every day until five o'clock. And it's allowing someone else to see your patterns and, and things that you don't necessarily want someone else to know. So what can you do to protect your devices and your family? Tracy says change your passwords. Don't keep the admin one that came on the bottom of your Internet router or your device. Have different passwords for different devices and pay attention to any software updates. Just like you would check the batteries in your your fire alarms, carbon monoxide detectors, right? Maybe put something on your calendar that says, uh, you know, I have automated automatic updates applied, but I'm going to once a month, I'm going to check and make sure that all my stuff is up to date. If you come to realize that someone has gained access to your system, does changing the password immediately help or are there other steps you have to take? These devices, you really want to be on a separate network, right? So a lot of times people are familiar with setting up a network for their kids um, so they can monitor it on their home router. When we have a uh, reason for major concern, right, is when your home computer or your business computer at home was on the same network as that device, then you have the ability for persistence um, and would need more professional assistance with that. Let's say you don't have someone talking to you through your ring camera inside the house. Is there a way to, to see if someone else has accessed your stuff? There are clues that you can look for. Your internet becomes increasingly slow, um, but you haven't added any devices, right? You're not necessarily streaming four movies right now. Why is it so slow? And sometimes that's the provider. Sometimes it's because there's something malicious on your network that's sending a lot of data back and forth, uh, causing your network to be slow. So any irregularities, things that just don't seem right, it's always better to err on the side of caution and get it looked at um, than to have someone inside your system stealing your data. One more thing, do your research on these cameras before you buy one. Is it a reputable company? Do they update their security software regularly? There are cybersecurity companies all over Maine. You can find one near you if you need extra help.